Hi, YouTubies! I'm back! I'm back on the re-upload channel. It's so good to see you. And guess what? We had so much fun celebrating the start of Croctober last week that we will be doing it again today. <laughs> Um, also, you might have noticed I didn't post a re-upload uh, the day before this because, well, I ended up just talking about my trip to Vegas on the Twitch stream, so we didn't actually end up doing a reaction because I filled an entire two hours worth of time uh, with just talking about my Vegas trip, and uh, I didn't record any of that, so I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, but anyways... Uh, yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna react to more Croctober. And we actually have, um, two videos we're gonna watch. One is only five minutes long, and the other one is longer because it's Tabitha. And Tabitha was, was my Croctober go-to in 2022. And so I was so happy to see her upload Crockpot Recipes for Croctober 2023. Although... I don't think the title of her video has Croctober in it. The other video we're going to watch was one that was shared by somebody in my Discord. I don't remember who shared it, to be honest. I probably could go look, actually. Let me go see. I, I want to properly shout the person out. It was shared by Carly! Carly shared it. And it's called Croctober 2023 Cheesy Chicken Enchilada Pasta, which is a mouthful May maybe in multiple ways <laughs> maybe in mo multiple ways um and it's by it's by a channel called brit and the and the beard and i'm just shook at this like i opened it up obviously to get it ready to go and what is this beauty and the beard <laughs> beauty and the beard it's also making me want to uh burst out and what's the justin bieber song um Cause all I need is a beauty and a beard. It will she make. She has a beard. I don't think she has a beard. It will make my life complete. And why is the why is the beard holding a wrench? Love, love, love my cream all wheat, wheat. Sounds like I'm about to get my curdled cream cheese for Cocktober. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so, absolutely. Uh, Dice Sodium Sugar Plum, thanks so much for the bits. Appreciate it. Because all I need is a beauty and a beat. <laughs> Made my life complete. Gotta keep an eye out for Celine or, yes, what a classic song. Um, so anyways, we'll start with this. Also, somebody um, appropriately was like, Zach, if you're concerned about the royalty-free the royalty free music from Epidemic Sound, why don't you just mute instead of, like, skipping around? And I totally can do that as well. I think my concern is that I'm going to miss out on people talking. But I could still miss out on people talking by skipping over stuff too. So we'll just we'll just do our best, okay? All right. Anyways, chat, if you're ready, if you are ready, ooh, I could put the captions on. Duh. That I need to do that anyways, although these are English auto-generated ones. Um if you're ready to get started, let's get to let's get to and put some 69s in the chat, besties. Because we got to get started because I got to go finish editing this video for my main YouTube channel. <laughs> Can we get a dump predictions? I don't, I don't have time to be creative and think about a prediction tonight. I'm so sorry. Also, this is one of my favorite coffee mugs. Best Dad by Par. I got it at a thrift store. I'm, I'm the best fur dad by par. <laughs> I don't even love, like golfing. Love, love my cream I just love a pun. Uh, Winter Emblem, thanks so much for subscribing for your 14th month with Prime. Appreciate it. I need more Judy points. We'll deal with it. <laughs> Come back to another stream where we do a prediction. Also, you'll get Judy points just from being here and participating in the chat. So no worries. All right. Here we go, here we go, one more time, everybody's feeling fine, here we go, hey, 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 here we go, NSYNC will, NSYNC, 
<laughs> oh, wait, you want a how many times will they say dump? Let's do that for the Tabitha video. Let's, we can do that for the Tabitha video, okay? I see what you're saying. I, I got it. I got it. You came up with the prediction for me. I got it. I, no need for me to be creative at all today. <laughs> all right. Wait, is she already all the way turned up? All right. Actually, I don't know what the audio is going to be like on the old Beauty and the Beard channel. So here we go. Oh, it's so loud. And it's, and it's, and it's, and it's music. We'll be muting that. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Oh, we don't even get to see what she looks like. Hey, guys. Hey. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you are new. I am Britt. Hey, the Britt. The cameraman is the beard. Today's video <laughs> is a crock pot. Not the cameraman being the beard. I also gotta wonder if she knows the context. The context of, like, what the beard is in, um, in gay culture. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Do, do y'all know? If you know, you know, but I'll explain it to you. For for gay men who are closeted, sometimes they, they will have, like, a girlfriend, and, and that's referred to as the beard, to, like, you, you have a beard to hide that you're gay. I mean, it's kind of stupid, <laughs> like, as a concept, but that that is, like, some gay lingo, in case you didn't know. Um, Maya said something about the egg rack. Is that what this is right here? <laughs> this little rack? Is that an egg rack? Recipe video. I am making cheesy chicken enchilada pasta. Okay. I used... I don't know that enchilada has to be combined with pasta. I don't know if that's something we need. <laughs> I don't know if that's something... It's one of those things that's like... Um... You know, when science, science never asked, um, science asked if we could, but never asked if we should, you know, kind of a thing. Two chicken breasts, boneless, skinless, and I just cut them up into cubes. Okay. Once that's done, I'm going to add what is this plastic a cup for? of onion. You can use fresh onion or you can use frozen onion. It really doesn't matter. I just cut up an onion and use that. Okay. Th Thanks so much for letting me know that I could use frozen onion. I always love tips and suggestions like that. And you will need, and this is optional, I used a fourth of a green bell pepper because I had a friend give us a pepper from her garden. Okay. You can use it or not. You can use whatever color pepper you want. It's really up to you. Then I'm using a large can of enchilada sauce, the red enchilada sauce. Why is it open like that? Why, if she's using the, if she's using the whole can of sauce, if, she, if she's using the whole can of sauce, why are we, why are we not just taking the whole, the whole, like taking the whole can of opener? to the whole can. You know what I, you know what I'm saying? Like sauce. Or yeah, or just puncture the other side. Yeah. But I would think if you just took the whole top off the top of the can, like took your can opener and went the whole way around, that would be way more efficient. While I'm pouring the enchilada sauce over the chicken, I'm going to take the time to say that this is a collaboration video. This is Croctober, and it's hosted by Tamara from Southern Life. Every ah! <laughs> Tabitha! The Tabitha shout-out! The Tabitha shout-out! Let's fucking go, Tabitha! <laughs> Tabitha's over here hosting Croctober. That's my girl. That's my motherfucking girl. But wait, she's going to talk over her pouring out? This this enchilada sauce. Everyday life, and Sammy from managing the maze. I will leave. Sammy, Sammy from managing the maze. Isn't that Mandy? Is it? Is it her name, Mandy? <laughs> I, th I thought her name was Mandy. Oh, you host. Oh, you host. Tabitha hosts. Their channel links as well as the playlist description. Girl, please down in please. the 
Please, um, ma'am, please. <laughs> this is her telling us she doesn't wash, crush, and recycle her cans. The Zach 11 angry. Um, uh, how is that her telling us this? Anyway, <laughs> anyways, thanks for the bits. No, we assumed it was Mandy. No, I'm pretty sure her name is Mandy. I'm pretty sure we all agreed her name was Mandy. <laughs> I'm pretty sure. <laughs> description box so check out the playlist you guys will find tons and tons of motivation. girl if you don't open this fucking can and it's going to be wonderful because the fall and the winter i use my crock pot all the time i use it year round but mostly in the fall and winter okay see you can open that can all the way you can open that can of cord all the way girl what are we doing here so if you need motivation, please go check it out. Then I'm using a can of corn that I've already drained and taco seasoning. One, okay. The taco seasoning that I poured in is the equivalent to Listen, one package. Listen, it's not, it's not a fucking, um, it's not a fucking crock pot video if you aren't using a pre-made seasoning packet and you aren't using a pre-made sauce. Um, bump for Maddie Mac and Cheese. Her name is Sammy, but you decided to call her Mandy because I don't know. It's her, but no, I'm I'm pretty sure her name is Mandy. I don't know who Sammy is. I'm pr I'm pretty sure, if I recall correctly, her name is Mandy. <laughs> you you know Mandy and Tabitha. If you guys want to see how I made that, I can do a YouTube short, Instagram reel, something like that. So you guys let me know if you want to see it. Wait, oh wait, she made her uh, own love, taco love seasoning? M hot sour cream. M hot sour cream. <laughs> no, it's Sammy. It says on her YouTube. No, Mrs. Ray's. I you're I think you're wrong. I think her name is Mandy. I, I feel very confident that her name is Mandy. I don't I don't know what to tell you. I that's what that's what I thought it was. Then I used one cup of sour cream. <laughs> Lastly, I'm using Mexican blended cheese. I'm not measuring this, guys. I'm going to say maybe two cups. I just they kinda... Listen, they never measure the cheese. If you're new, uh, if you're new to Crocktober, these girlies are never measuring the shredded cheese. They always are doing what's right for their, um, their families, you know? Uh, I'm not wrong. Check her YouTube then, Bessie. No, I'm telling you. <laughs> her name is Mandy. I heard... I heard her say it myself. <laughs> I heard her. See? Oh, Lil Mommy Salami is even agreeing. Her name is Mandy. Uh, Lil Mommy Salami would know because she signed the birth certificate. <laughs> measure, measure with your cardiac infarction. What What did you just call me, Diet Sodi? <laughs> love, love, love my crema. Wee, wee. Zach. It's Sammy. Check the Discord for a screenshot. Huh. Okay, I see I see a screenshot and all I see is that it says that her name is Mandy. Love, love, love my cream. I'll I'm seeing it says You should always measure cheese with your heart and your family's best. I'm reading I'm reading the screenshot. It says, Hey everyone, it's me, Sammy, and welcome to my channel. I hope y'all stick around and give me a chance. I I don't know what to tell I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> wait, did I I wait. You just admitted Sammy. No, I didn't. I didn't. I I don't think so. I didn't wait, did I say did I say Sammy? Bye, everybody. <laughs> I, I listen.
said, it's a common mispronunciation, uh, but from from the region that Mandy is from, it's spelled Sammy, but it's <laughs> it's pronounced Mandy. So it's easy to confuse. <laughs> it's, it's easy to confuse. <laughs> She she's from the Mandy region of the South, you know. <laughs> All right. So, anyways, what about what about this enchilada, creamy cheesy enchilada casserole pasta? Poured it in and went with it. Love, um, love, you can never have enough grandma. cheese. We, we. Gaslight gatekeep. <laughs> Girl boss. Absolutely. That's what I'm here to do. <laughs> That's what I'm here to do. Sammy and Mandy are both derived from Samantha. Therefore, her name is also Mandy. Thank you for your time. Samandy. Absolutely. Yep. That's that's where it comes from. That's where Mandy comes from. Samandy. That's just my opinion. We absolutely love cheese. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. I need to hear I need to hear what she was saying about cheese before I get confused again. I'm using Mexican blended cheese. Okay, stunning. I'm not measuring this guys. I'm gonna say maybe two cups. I just kinda poured it in and went with it. I um you can, I, I do anticipate this is gonna be more than two cups of cheese. Ever have enough cheese? That's absolutely just my opinion. Never we enough. Absolutely love, love, love cheese. Love my crema, never cheese. enough. Never. Common mispronunciation. <laughs> I am coughing and crying at the same time. <laughs> Thank you, Livia Sor. Never enough. Never, never, never enough. Never, never. Do you know that song from? Um, I think that's from The Greatest Showman. Like, does that look like two cups? That looks like at least three cups of of cheese to me once i get the cheese we are just going to stir it mm. really really well also mm, the and uncooked pop chicken the pot lid on and cook it you can cook this on high or low and timing will div will vary based on your crock pot sure i have a green crock pot which you guys have probably seen a in green. some of my videos and that sucker is a beast it doesn't take any time at all so, what does a green crock pot mean? Like it's good for the environment? And then this one takes a little bit more time. So I cooked it on low for six hours. But oh. you could cook it on high for probably four. She sounds like she's reading a book report. Maybe she is. It's colored green. It has no carbon footprint. I have a Pioneer Woman crock pot. Okay, good for you, Lupus Lassie. All right, come on, Flex. Come on, come on, redrum and Flex. Once it's finished, it will look something like this. It's just, it's creamy and. Not, not she plugs it into a Tesla charging port. Get out of here. Could you imagine Homegirl walking up to. <laughs> Walking up to the grocery store where they got the Tesla charging ports and being like, sorry, Tesla bros, I gotta plug in my <laughs> my crock pot. It looks delicious. Then I'm gonna add in a pound of penne pasta. You can use whatever pasta you want. Of it's course you can. It's completely up to you guys. That's so true. This dish is kind of very, you can vary it. I, I do love also when, when they're like, um, like a pasta dish. One of my favorite things is when we watch people make pasta dishes and they're like, just use whatever noodle you want, which is like, obviously true. Like if you have penne noodles on hand, then use penne noodles. But also like the shapes of noodles, like do sometimes have purposes, right? Like, like it does, like if people, like people who are cooking with like, taste and texture and things like that in mind do know that like certain noodles do make a difference in the way that you like consume foods right like like some noodles are designed so that they like scoop up sauce for instance and like hold on to sauce and things like that so um fascinating <laughs> and make it your own like most of my dishes 
once that's stirred really well, I'm just going to go ahead and plate it up. Okay. But before I plate it up, I want to show you these plates that I got. Oh. You guys, I got these from the Dollar Tree. They are so beautiful. All right, Dollar Tree Diva. Love, 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 okay, Dollar love, Tree find. Go off, Zach. Noodle connoisseur. I will say if there's like not, I'm not a good cook, okay? W which maybe should always bear repeating whenever I'm reacting to other people cooking. But I, I, I am kind of a noodle connoisseur. I do love a fucking noodle. Although, I, listen, I got love, weighed today love, at the doctor. Love, 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 love. I'm like, I probably what do you know about noodles. holding onto some sauce? <laughs> I'm holding on to a little bit too much sauce right now, if you know what I'm saying. Uh, thanks so much for the bits, Liv. She al does also have an Autumn Dollar Tree haul from a month ago for those interested. Oh my god, good to know. Well, I these these plates are kind of cute for the Dollar Tree. And they're thick and durable. Dollar Tree, they are so beautiful. Love, love, love my cream all wheat, wheat. In chill lasagna. <laughs> If she made this a lasagna, that would be good. Uh, these are our... And they're thick and durable. What do you what do you know about thick and durable? <laughs> what do you know? Listen, I've been called thick and durable a few times, so... And I think the Dollar Tree did a good job for fall plates. Once this is plated, huh. I'm going to add some more cheese because what's... <laughs> cheesy chicken enchilada without extra of cheese. Of course. Listen, I'm not mad about it. I am also a cheese connoisseur and would absolutely love, add more love, cheese love, if it was an option. Thick and durable like our 12-month bestie chef less than three. Oh my gosh, Welsh Cat, thanks so much for a year of subscribing. Appreciate it. Um, I would definitely add more cheese and I definitely would eat this if we're, if we're just being honest. Like I said, we love cheese. We eat a lot of it and then once the extra cheese is put on there we're gonna add some sour cream yes um you can never have enough sour cream and then never have enough cheese but that's just my opinion um i forgot she does quickly show her kid at the very end listen for monster oh okay we'll check out then before that comes up because i'm not i'm not trying to do all that um i checked mandy's youtube and see something different to squash banana i posted a screenshot in the discord oh there's additional proof let's open it up hey everyone it's me mandy and welcome to my channel see i'm i knew i knew i was right i knew i was right diet so thanks so much for getting that screenshot that is so helpful appreciate it appreciate it <laughs> thank you so much <laughs> definitive proof <laughs> anyways this is what it looks like plated up it may not look perfect but it was delicious Listen, I got th that's all that matters the beard said i had to make this again for him not and the beard telling you you had to make it again <laughs> not the beard look at the clip wait where's the clip oh this clip Zach, it's Sammy. <laughs> Check the Discord for a screenshot. Huh. Okay, I see I see a screenshot and all I see is that it says that her name is Mandy. Love, love, love my cream. I'll I'm seeing it. it says You should always measure cheese with your heart and your family's best. <laughs> I'm reading I'm reading the screenshot. It says, Hey everyone, it's me, Sammy. And <laughs> I'm telling you, it's it's confusing. It's the dialect. It's it's pro it's spelled Sammy but pronounced Mandy. <laughs> so I get confused easily. Okay, I get I get confused easily. <laughs> Poe, Judy, what's wrong? Hey, come here, Poe. Get in here. Stop. What we're not gonna do is bork at the neighbors. Yeah, no, we're not. <laughs> we're not. <laughs> okay, um, you know what? For for just 
for just safety purposes, we're going to stop this one here because I don't want her kid to show up on the screen. Uh, but Carly, thanks so much for sharing this lovely Croctober recipe. <laughs> we're going to move on to the queen. Oh, she does have Croctober in the title. It's just at the very end. The best dump and go crock pot meals. Bar bar. Fall slow cooker recipes. Bar. Croctober 2023. Uh, hey besties, I was late again. I'm having myself a little marg or two for my birthday. So I might not be in the chat as much, but I wanted to say, hope y'all have a great day. Well, happy birthday, venomous cow. <clears throat> happy to have you here. All right, so we are going to do um, a prediction as requested by the chat, and it's going to be a prediction for them to predict how many times <laughs> she'll say the word dump in, in this video. Um, I wonder if I have a, an already done prediction I can adapt to this. I don't think so. How many times... Will she say dump in this video? In the video. All right, please be patient with me um, as I do this, as I set up this. Uh, Set up this prediction. Uh, there are five options on the prediction. Uh, you can pick 0 to 5, 6 to 10, 11 to 15, 16 to 20, or 21 plus. Okay? Um, <laughs> dumping. Dumping is the opposite of pissing. <laughs> Dumping is the opposite of <clears throat> puking. Dumping is a wonderful thing to do because you're dumping. <laughs> dumping is the opposite of pissing. What's up? You want to say hi while they're participating in the prediction set? Oh. What it is, Poe? What's up? Every good dog needs a little hug. <laughs> oh. Say hi to everybody. Say hi to the YouTubies. Say hi to the Twitchies. <laughs> um, if you've never participated in a prediction before, it's just a... Uh, it uses, you can make bets using your channel points, which are all free, on what will happen in the video. And if you don't see the prediction at the top of your chat, just click the little circle in the bottom left-hand corner, and it should pop up for you. Mm. Hi. Hi, sweetheart. Hi, sweetheart. Mm. My, my little posif, my little posif. There are, like, what, how many minutes left? Not many minutes left in the poll remaining. Se 17 seconds in the prediction remaining. Not me singing, who dat is ho, <laughs> as I make my way to teach ha ha ha. Uh, hot Cheeto Curly, thanks for those bits. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. All right, let's go ahead and get into it. Although, wait, I need my whiteboard to keep track. We got the whiteboard out. We're going to have a dump count. <laughs> dump count. I haven't used this in a while. All right, as you can see right there, dump count. <laughs> got the dump count going. We got the dump count. All right, let's get to, let's get to. Wait, is she going to be loud enough? I don't know. We'll see. I've got some delicious crock pot recipes to share with you guys today. Oh, good. Oh, wait. Oh, she, I think that was all royalty-free music, so we're just going to mute her for this. Although, wait, do I have, 
Okay, it's just music. Okay, great. Oh, what is that? Oh, what are these avocados doing? Wait, did she, wait, did she say dump there at the beginning? Unmute her for that. I've got some delicious crockpot recipes to share with you guys today. Okay, she didn't. She didn't. She didn't. It's fine. <laughs> it's fine. Homemaker vlogs. Feeding my family. I don't think this is from today's video. Stick around to see part of our everyday life. Oh, I do love this little video right here. The birds on her. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. My name is Tamara. Today we have got a special video. It is officially October, which means Croctober. Let's fucking go. If you're not new here to the YouTube platform, Croctober is pretty big here on YouTube. I it's it's so big how many before before you all ever came into a zachary michael twitch stream how how many of you actually uh knew about croctober prior to this it is it is so big on the youtube though you might have you might not have realized <laughs> You thought it was about the the clogs? Oh, I should be wearing my croc my Crocs for this. Personally, love using crock pots year round, but I don't know. There's just something about a nice, cozy, warm meal in the so evening true. when it is nice and cool outside. And today here, it is like the perfect fall day, and so I'm so, so excited to eat this crock pot separate for tonight. Today's video is extra special because it is actually a open collaboration hosted by myself and Sammy what? over at Managing the Maze. What is, the, also though, first of all, her name is Mandy over at Managing the Maze. We already addressed this, Tabitha, okay? <laughs> Please pronounce her name correctly. So rude. <laughs> but also, I'm, I'm so curious because I've never done a collab like this on YouTube. Like, what, what goes into this? Like, what does it mean to be the host of an open collab, you know? I will make sure to have her channel linked down below. But there will also be a playlist linked down below. So make sure y'all check out that playlist because there is all kinds of fellow content creators. Is it just... I did a deep dive and there is a lot of Croctober lore. There's a lot of Croctober lore? I had no idea. But it's like the, the concept just that like you make a video and add your video to the playlist. Like you don't have to do nothing special. There's that are joining in on this collaboration. So when you click that link, you're going to get all kinds of Crock-Pot recipes that are perfect for Croctober. It kind of feels like a little bit of like what... Like, I feel like we need to get Cherie from Not Sure What's Cooking in on this because she's already farming engagement through whatever system she has that has all these random people commenting on her video. I feel like this kind of engagement would at least be a little bit more authentic because it's actual people who are seeking out a playlist full of people doing Croctober recipes, you know? I have got three that I'm sharing with you guys today. Let's go ahead and get right on Only into. three? Chicken tacos. Yummy. <laughs> Those look so good. I'm going to be making kind of a chicken enchilada vibe <laughs> in the crock pot. Now, did you not just call those chicken tacos on the previous slide? Now, did you not just call those chicken tacos on the previous slide you just showed? Love, love, I'm love sick of these girls me. and their chicken enchilada appropriation. I'm sick of it. Griselda, thanks so much for the 50 bits. Inspiration recipe will be linked down below. Of course, but I'm using what I have on hand. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and add my chicken. Oh, wait, how did, is she just stabbing that with a knife and tossing it in the crock pot? That sure is, and it's like a butter knife, too. Oh, wait, no, that was like a steak knife. Just kidding. Got my chicken in there. I'm going to go ahead and add in my diced tomatoes. Okay, work. And then I've also got a jar of black beans and a jar of corn that I have rinsed 
and or drained and rinsed. Okay, work work for the the draining and rinsing, cause you know what Miss Mandy from managing the maze didn't do. Uh, dra drain and rinse her beans. <laughs> she sure didn't. Add that in. Okay. All right. This is fine, I guess. This is fine, I guess. And and I want Miss Britt in the beard to see to see this action. See, there's always something that you can learn from these girlies. And look at Miss Tabitha over here showing you how to pour out the sauce. <laughs> look at that. Look at that. This is why she's hosting Croctober. This is why. She's showing you how it's done. This can of enchilada sauce in my pantry forever. I've not used it yet, so we're finally using it. Let's today. go. Now, the recipe that will be linked down below, it has you put like the tortilla strips or wedges or whatever uh -huh. in this and let it bake. I'm doing it as is, and then we can serve it over love, rice. Love my cream all wheat, wheat. <laughs> Dump it all in Goral. Jen Chapin, the Jen Chapin. Follow her on YouTube, at Jen Chapin. Uh, thanks so much for subscribing for your 19th month. I appreciate it, bestie. Um, good to see ya. You can serve it in um, like the carb counter tortillas. Okay. With, you know, with whatever toppings that we want. Um, so I'm just, you know. So far, no dumps, though. Nobody's taking a dump yet. Nobody's taking a dump, even though the title of this video is The Best Dump. <laughs> the Best Dump and Go Crock-Pot Meals. I guess it's not really referring to what's in the Crock-Pot. Maybe she's saying, like, these are the best meals to make after you take a dump and go into the kitchen. Maybe, maybe that's what she means. <laughs> Seasonings to make kind of like a taco seasoning, but you can, you know, add the taco seasoning in. Of course. Oh yes, yeah, squeeze, girly, <laughs> squeeze. We gotta mute this music. We gotta mute this this music. We can't do all that. She's just she's just adding seasonings. I think she means you'll be shitting. Oh wait, now she's talking. Uh, I think she means you will be shitting your brains out afterwards. I don't know about that. That sounds like a lot. Come on. Now I'm just gonna kind of do know, what? Everything together. Mm. Now y'all can see a little bit better. But I just took and mixed it up. What is that little? Do y'all see that little bug? Wait. Now y'all can see. It's right a over bit here. Better, but it's I just took right and over mixed here. It up. She needs that little uh, fruit fly contraption that Amber Lynn had that she was so, so pleased with. And then... Oh, yeah, the I'm scraping is a on. lot. I'm so sorry. And I'm just going to let this cook on low for about four to six hours. Mm. <laughs> you don't like the loose corn, little mommy salami? You're not into the, uh, to the loose corn? It is done. Work. It smells so good. Um, also, it's not a true uh, a true crock pot recipe if you don't have the fucking meat tenderizer. That's not a tenderizer. That's a, a meat masher, I think. So I'm going to take and just chop up this chicken. And I think we're just going to serve it on tortillas. Okay. Now, didn't she call it... Ask Luke what he wants to do. He's home. So, Did, you know, he might want some so, because it is a little bit on the runny side. The soupier side? It's looking like soup. <laughs> it sure is. It smells delicious, though. Well, there you go. So good. It's so good. The big chunks, honestly, it's probably fine. The big chunks of avocado are taking me out. Like, I. It is. They are. They are concerning love, to me. Love, love, love my cream all wheat, wheat. Looks like the consequences after a bar crawl. Sure, sure. Uh, I honestly, I would eat it. I am allergic to avocado, so I would just, I would just take the big ass chunks of avocado off. But there we go. There we go, guys. Oh my gosh, this music is out of control. 
chicken alfredo. We got the bow tie pasta. We got a, a garlic toast made out of a hot dog bun. I think maybe I'm predicting a little um, spinach. Spinach. The garlic bread. 10 out of 10. I looks great. I think I going, so I apologize for the noise. But I don't I'm hear it. get started on supper tonight. Oh, wait. I do hear it, actually. I do hear it a little bit. I'm doing a, like, chicken alfredo pasta in the crock pot. So has she said pot. dump once? I don't think she has. <laughs> I don't think she has, besties. Chicken breast here. That is a kind of a loud ass right, washing machine. The washing machine went whissity whir, whissity 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 whir. One day at noon it went whissity click, whissity 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 click, click grr, click grr, click grr, quick. Call the repair man, fix it quick. I'll make sure to have a link down below, but y'all know I always just use what I have on hand and work with what I got. That's the dishwasher? Wait, did she say dishwasher? I'm not good at listening today. So I'm going to add in some garlic. Work. She yeah, said the washer. As much as you want. We like garlic in here, so. And then I'm just going to add some seasoning. I'm what is that? Paprika. Okay. Interesting for an Alfredo. Why does she squeeze it like that? <laughs> I've never squeezed a seasoning bottle like that in my life before. Oregano. A little bit extra garlic. Oh, of course. <laughs> never pepper. enough. And then I'm going to add a little bit of salt. All right. And then salt. She has a good form. A good form of what? Oh, of squeezing. That that washing machine is killing me. Oh, and just the heavy cream. My heavy cream. I've got to open up another one. Okay. <laughs> We're just we're just doing straight up heavy cream. Up that one since there really Did, nothing in it. Didn't somebody tell me that um when we were watching some other girly make Alfredo, didn't we didn't we all agree that like authentic Alfredo doesn't have any cream in it? Maybe I'm maybe I'm remembering that from something I've watched. Maybe that wasn't a, a thing that we talked about on Twitch. Oh my god, it's also thick. <laughs> this this cream is thick as hell, girl. Interesting. <laughs> it is thick. Oh, that's also a lot of cream. Oh my god, that's so, <laughs> that's so much cream. Damn, okay, girl. I'm gonna add in a little bit of chicken broth. Stunning. What are we making? It's a chicken Alfredo, allegedly. And then I'm just gonna let this cook. Allegedly. For about four to six hours. Oh, wait, oh, wait. Gotta mute, gotta mute, gotta mute. <laughs> gotta mute. I don't need these epidemic sound girlies coming after me today. Is this done? Is this the finished product? It's done. So I thought oh, I had the... Parmesan cheese, but. I've used it all. I've been using Parmesan cheese a lot. Um, so also, look at all the. It's, it's not a good shot, and the um, captions are blocking it right now. But there, there's the classic Tabitha grease on the top. <laughs> the just layer of grease hanging out on the top of it all. I'm just taking and kind of breaking up this chicken. Uh huh. Oh, girl, what's that alarm? Some cheese, if I can get this thing open. Will the cream curdle being cooked for that long? Genuinely asking. I think it depends. Um, we saw, we we saw the last Cracktober, 
uh, reaction oh, we did. Oh, my cream all week. We definitely saw some curdled it's cream cheese. It's not a great cream shot. Hot Cheeto girly, I know what you're trying to do there. Thanks so much for the bits. There we go. You're surprised this isn't authentic Italian cooking? But the recipe does call for parmesan. Parmesan, parmesan. Do, 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 do. I'm gonna add in the cheese and then. Oh my god, the, the, the I'm gonna add packaging some ASMR. Some in mine. Yes, let's fucking go, spinach. Come on, Popeye the Sailor Man. The cheese will help thicken up that sauce. Uh huh. And then that spinach will wilt down. Okay. Maybe it's my Midwestern, now Northeastern sensibilities and elitism, but what does these Southern girlies know about the fall slash the cold? <laughs> You know, I that is interesting because I do do watch for whatever reason a lot of moms that live in the South and they're always talking about how much they love fall and I'm like, do y'all even experience seasons? And well, she's from Kentucky, which she might I, from from watching Old Amber Lynn for so long. I feel like they do have some kind of sort of seasons, but like. When I watch old Lemonade Mom, she lives in fucking Texas. I'm like, why are you getting so damn excited about fall? It's hot as hell there all the time. That dryer is being annoying. Mmm, jeez. Measure with your whore. 10, 15 minutes. We occasionally have winters in Georgia, but only like five days of the year. Yeah, I know sometimes yeah, there is, like, snow and tonight. stuff. It needs some salt and pepper, so I'll add that in. Salt and pepper's here, and we're in effect. Want you to push it back. That's it. They probably love fall because it's not hot as balls anymore. True, but it's still not really fall, you know? I didn't even have to do much. All I had to do was cook noodles. Wow. Tabitha, I'm gonna need you to bring some more entertainment in the future. I need more, I need more dumps. Cause has she said dump at all? Did I miss a dump? <laughs> I forgot that I was supposed to be counting dumps, but has she, she hasn't said dump, right? I'm gonna need you to start dumping. You use dump in the title and you have yet to say dump at all. And I'm going to need you to return to your roots, which is canned soups. What happened to the canned soups? I do miss them a little bit. Oh, wait. Oh, my God. I was just letting that play. I was just letting that music play. I was totally spacing out. God damn. A big hit. Okay. Work. <laughs> Work. Oh, and then pot roast. This isn't weird. Although that is a lot of grease, but, uh, you know, I expect that. But I, I've had pot roast in a crock pot before. This isn't weird. But that's how my mom would make roasts for us. She'd make a little pot roast in the, in the crock pot with some carrots and some potatoes. This isn't that creative. Love, love, love I need I need more creativity. Kate Alistair, thanks so much for subscribing with Prime. Appreciate it. I'm up early this morning getting this roast on. That way it has enough time to cook. I am just adding my onions to the bottom of my crock pot. Now a pot roast is crock pot worthy. Exactly, because the best way to cook a pot roast is like low and slow. That's like the whole point, you know? The roast in there. Girl, what is this? What what are we doing here today? What is going on? Oh, yep, okay. That is about a three pound roast. Love. Yeah. Gonna add Love a three pound roast. Veggies. You can use whatever you want. I'm just going to use potatoes and carrots. 
And as always, I will say, always love a, you can use whatever you want. No, I want to know what you're using because I want to know what works for you and your family because I'm here to watch you and your recipes. Of course, I could sub out whatever vegetable I want. That's not a helpful tip. Like maybe, maybe a better tip would be, well, I don't even know. I don't even know what a better tip would be. Like give me at least like a specific vegetable that would be a good replacement, you know? Like that's all I'm asking for. <laughs> that's all I'm asking for. There better be a red wine in this recipe. Doubt it. Red wine doesn't come in a seasoning packet. Why would she put that in here? Love, love, love my cream all wheat, wheat. Three pounds of meat works for me and my family of one. Uh, three pounds of meat has worked for me before, too, if you know what I'm saying. Thanks so much for those bits. She's got the au mix. See, when my... I think when my mom would make the, um... The pot roast, she would make, like... I, I feel like she made, like, a roux or something to add to it. But I could be wrong. It's honestly been a long time since I had any of my mom's cooking. Just brown gravy. I just... I have it in, like, this big container. Not the baby carrots. Did you know that they were invented? Yeah, they're like, um, they're like scraps of carrots for, from my understanding. I love a baby carrot. You know what? This, the host is not providing today. I'm going to go back to Brit and the Beard in the future. She provided the entertainment. Or old Mandy. And then I've just got about a cup or so of water. Y'all know me, I don't measure. It's crazy how the packet seasoning industry is fueled by these girlies. Me and my family almost never use them. I know, it's wild. I have used a taco seasoning uh, powder before. I do I do stand by that, to be honest. I really do. Because uh, it's good and it reminds me of my, my childhood of having white people taco nights. But it is wild how everything, every recipe has some kind of seasoning packet, pre-made sauce, pre-made soup. Um, look, Bestie, your Twitch time interferes with my son's pickup. Can I get the number of HR to complain? You're going to have to take that up with the union. Um, I This is what works for me and my family. And uh, I, can't, I can't help you with that. A couple roast recipes I'll have linked down below for you guys as reference. Okay. And then I just got a half a stick of butter. Oh, kind of stunning. Up love. Love. That's, love. that's love. where all that love. grease Prima came from. <laughs> My mom's Mexican and even we grew up on white people taco night tears of joy. Stunning. Stunning. Thanks for the bits, Livia Sor. That is it. Here we go. Turn it on low and let it cook low and slow all day long, about 10 hours, and it will be delicious. Let's fucking go. It has been cooking low and slow all day long. It smells so good in this house, and it's like so the perfect good. fall day today. It is so cool outside. It feels amazing, so I'm so excited for this. I have been wanting this oh, for oh, a long time. Oh, wait. Long. So Listen so to the excited. plop. For this i have been wanting this mm. for a long time i'm so excited for this i have been wanting this <laughs> for <laughs> a long time so i'm just going to kind of shred up this roast it's just going to fall right apart since i cooked it low and slow it's yeah it's just fallen right apart it sure is I mean, I love a pot roast. I'd eat this, too. I'd eat all of it, to be honest with you. There, I, there's not a meal I would turn down. Mm. Uh, listen, I like to eat. I'm not I'm not trying to turn shit down. Not, not food. If she cooked for me, I'd eat it. I'm going to make some easy Cheddar Bay biscuits. and. Okay, let's fucking go. I love it. Listen, I hate Red Lobster. I'm not a seafood girly, but I do love a Cheddar Bay biscuit. That Them shit's slap <laughs> they're so fucking good
Oh, oh, I keep forgetting. I just space out while this this epidemic music is on. I just keep forgetting. All right, let's go. Let's 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 keep it moving, Tabitha. Oh, what? exactly what I was craving. It was so good. All oh, look at them biscuits. Absolutely delicious. Don't forget. I oh, it looks not as good when it's in this bowl. It looks less appetizing when it's in this bowl. We'll have all the recipes linked down below. Please it does not. Sure that looks go check less out good. Sammy's channel. I will have it linked down below. And make sure you check out that playlist. There is going to be all kinds of crockpot recipes. Y'all do not want to miss it. I I think I can miss some of these recipes. Let's let's be let's be a little bit honest with ourselves. I hope y'all enjoyed today's video, and I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye, all right, guys. bye. Okay, we don't need to listen to our outro music. Well, there you well there well well there well there you go. Well, there you go, besties. YouTubies, I hope you all enjoyed today's video. I gotta say goodbye to the Twitch people without y'all. See, what you don't know when you're not at the Twitch stream is, is that I, I, I stop recording, and then I go and I talk to all the Twitchies, and, <laughs> and we just have a little moment to ourselves. So, if you're watching on YouTube, do make sure to subscribe, um, and also come check me out on the Twitch if you got time, because uh, we have a good time here. We have a great time, as you can tell. As you can tell from these re-uploads. Anyways, bye, YouTubies! Subscribe! Long, 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 my we, we. No goddamn cree cheese. No. <laughs> also, no dumps. Anyways, bye, YouTubies!